Hi! In this video, you're going to learn about the game event listener, how it works and how to use it. Let's get started. The game event listener implements a microphone-like device that interprets game events. It listens for them. When uh, triggered, it executes a set of callbacks. How to add a game event listener to your uh, scene is very easy. Just go to the R key, right click, doozy, listener, game event listener. And this is the component. Here you have a link to the manual and here you have a link to this video. It has a debug mode so that you know that it works. And it can either listen for a specific game event, so one, two, three, for example, and trigger a uh, Unity event, or it can, li can listen for all game events and trigger, again, a Unity event. Let me show you how it works. A game event is a string that is sent throughout the system and can be captured by different components of the Dozy UI ecosystem. So let's uh, create a button. And when we click this button, let's send a game event. Let's say one, two, three, four. And let's also rename this button UI button one, two, three, four. Let's uh, create another button and let's uh, send another game event. Let's say ABC and let's rename it to ABC. So now when we click these two buttons, we're sending either the one, two, three game event or the ABC game event. So let's use our game event listener and uh, react to these buttons. Let's uh, set here one, two, three instead of one, two, three, four. Okay, so let's enter play mode. And if I click these two buttons, nothing will happen because the game event listener is not listening for them. Let's also create a text mesh pro so that we can uh, actually see the game event that has been sent. Let's uh, set it like that. Okay, whenever we receive a game event, so let's listen for all game events. Let's update this text mesh pro text. Let's go for the dynamic function and let's change its text value. So let's press play. You will see that the text doesn't change. But the moment I press, press one of these two buttons, this one will send one to three game event and this one will send the ABC game event. Check it out. It just, so I press the button, the game event was sent and the game event listener uh, received it and set it as the text value. Of course, you can use it to trigger your methods or something else. If this uh, game event listens only for a particular game event, if I press ABC, it won't work, but one or few will work. Let's say ABC, and now it doesn't work, and now it works. And that's it. It's uh, quite easy. You can use it to capture game events sent from code or from a button or from anywhere and trigger whatever Unity methods you need or, I don't know, create something. That's it for the game event listener. Have a great day.